Hi, this is IGQ with another video review. Today I'll be reviewing the Cooler Masters Elite 360 case. This is a mint tower case, a little bit dust here, sorry. A mint tower case, uh, which you can have standing up or on the side. Okay. And of course, in case you guys are wondering, if you put it on the side, you can flip the logo just like that, so it looks decent. Um, I'll just take off the top here. As you can see, the top here, which is the top facing up, you got uh, three vents. And one vent, you have mountings for uh, eight millimeters, uh, ninety millimeters, and one hundred twenty millimeter fans, which is a good idea to stick on, considering how small the case is. Um, over here on the case, you can see a uh, um, USB, USB, mic, headphone jacks, of course. Okay, don't get excited there. And on top here, we have the power and reset switch. Inside, we have a 120mm fan, cable for it, and of course the cables for the uh, front, uh, front panel. And over here is where you stick in the PSU on. Now the PSU on this case does not go at the back there, it actually goes at the front here. So I'll just show you what it looks like. Let me just pull this off. Oops. Okay, there we go. Now, of course, uh, just a quick reminder, you can place the case on the bottom here. They give you some uh, st uh, rubber feet for it. Is it rubber? Yeah, rubber feet. You can stick it here, or you can stick it underneath. There are slots for that. And the hard drive and the five and a quarter and the DVD ROM drive, the five and a quarter inch drives, they go on like this with these mountings. This is for the three and a half inch, two five and a quarter, and an additional three and a half inch. I'm going to stick down here. Here's the thing. Put the front panel open. Here's where we stick in the um, power supply. So if you had a power supply with a big fan at the bottom, this is up to the air vent. Push in. Slide that in. Like so. Screw it in. See if I can get that screwed in. Screws obliging. And because screwing it with your fingers is not easy. Yeah. Let's just screw it a bit on the I'm not going to screw in much. Okay, so it's something like that. And you slap it all back. You can see there the cables. I'm not sure you can see the angle, but you can see there the cables through here, so you're going to have to cable manage yourself. So basically, you have it like that. And uh, let me walk over to the other side. You might hear me moving around. Okay, um, I moved myself a bit around because um, my batteries ran out of my camera, so I uh, can't be bothered to shoot the whole freaking thing again. So we, it looks a bit disjointed, okay, don't get too upset. Okay, as I was saying, I'm just going to put in the motherboard. This is an old ATX motherboard, which I've already salvaged most of the capacitors. Capacitors for uh, other electronic repairs. If you, if you visited my site, you know I'm repairing most of the time. Uh, so we're going to try to fit this guy in, put this up so we can take a look. Now this is a full ATX motherboard, so there's not much space, but as you can see, you can just get it in. And there. Um, the RAM will be about this high, so the second, uh, the second, uh, we got a 5 quarter inch bay, should not be used, or you should use something which doesn't o occupy the whole uh, Length of the bay, like maybe a, uh, uh, we could a, uh, like like the Sycoma bay, for instance, and you know, those uh, little thing with jiggers with the USB and the fan control and all that crap. Or you can use the, well, in this case for me, I'll be using the Sci uh, 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 Comma bay uh, speakers, and I just stick it in here in the second bay, and on the top I'll use the uh, DVD ROM. So 
yeah, it should be okay. There, there, there is clearance, and then because you get the space for your um, card. Uh, I would not suggest using a motherboard with a uh, ID or uh, ID uh, uh, connections because as you can see, it's pretty tight, and the ID cables are fat, and you know it's you're gonna have a hell of a time maneuvering them around. So I would suggest using a SATA because you know they're easily flexible. You can flip, flip, flip them around. So you can put one more fan down here. There's a vent down here. Uh, looks like a 60 millimeter fan. Now I wouldn't suggest it. It's probably a waste of time. Just stick a fan on on the other side, and uh, another 125 millimeter fan, and I think you're good to go. Um, here has on a PSU today's PSU will have a pop, uh, fan down here so you can use that to suck out the hot air fan here just blow in the hot air fan here suck out hot air so I, I mean it may look a bit tight but I think the airflow should be fairly good I'm, I'm not going to speculate so much on that but I presume the airflow is pretty good here you may be able to stick some really small fans on but you know it's a waste of time don't bother I mean they're so small they have no they probably have very little impact so let's just stick with the big ones. Um, so what can I say about this casing? Well, it's pretty well built. It has a very nice internal finish. I mean, usually you know, on inside of these, uh, let me just grab this for a second. Like you know, the insides of these casings, these cheap casings. This only costs like 99 ringgit, which is uh, divided by 3.4. It's about uh, 30 bucks US. You know, these cheap casings, they don't have a very nice finish, but you can really feel it painted very well on the outside and on the inside it's quite thick the uh, paint a good coating it's not, it's, in, uh, it's not thinly done it's not cheaply done um, stiffness is quite good you can after I'll put an LCD on top of it make sure you leave some the vent here clear because you know your fans here you can put an LCD on top here you know and um, the, the, the casing should not cave in uh, well, there's nothing really much to say. In my opinion, I wouldn't use this as a standing case. I really would use it as a flat case like this. Looks really nice this way. You know, you have your, you got your side speakers blasting out directly in front of you. You got your thing. You got your that. I mean, it's really a nice case. You got a small uh, small desk. If you have a much larger desk, maybe you might want to invest in a better um, in a better uh, case. But uh, for me, I would say if you have a small desk, this might, this might be the way to go. Don't, it doesn't cost that much, you know. It's innovative in some sense of the word. It is quite innovative, and it seems to be very well ventilated, which is very important. And in case you're wondering, the power goes through here, comes out there, in here. Okay, so I don't know. Uh, out of five for for a casing, uh, you know, really the really best. If you put five, is the most expensive uh, aluminium old frills, you know, lights, fans, all that crap, then that would be a 5. And one would be a cheap uh, steel case with uh, sharp edges and all that. You see here, there's no sharp, sharp edges, which is nice, there's no sharp edges. And they can easily work without worrying about getting yourself cut. Mm, no, yeah, really, there's no, none. I'm trying to find some, but I can't find any. There's none. So, um, uh, for this, I would say a 3.5. Yeah, three and a half. Just if you're using it as a as a tower case, if you're using it as a desktop tip case, a flat case like this, I would say four. Because it just it looks great, in my opinion. You know, I mean, it's not a mini ATX case, but huh, it's a mi it's a micro ATX or normal ATX uh, system. It looks it's pretty f uh, good for that purpose. Okay, this is IGQ, sending it off.